Hello, my name is Nigel Palmer and I'm the author of the book, The Regenerative Grower's Guide to Garden Amendments. In this short video, I'd like to talk to you about fermenting indigenous microorganisms, or making IMO2, indigenous microorganisms number two. This product, when completed, is refrigerator stable. It can be stored in your refrigerator for an extended period of time. One of the most important things about this process is labeling your IMO2 when you're done. The biology in IMO2 is specific to the time of year it is made as well as the location it is made. I like to have several varieties of IMO2 in my refrigerator reflecting different times of year. So when I make my IMO4, I can make it with specific biologies in mind. I have everything I need here to make IMO2 indigenous microorganisms number two. The most important ingredient for making IMO2 is IMO1 and that's the box of rice with the fuzz on the top. I just captured this box of uh, IMO1 in the backyard. The next important ingredient is organic brown sugar. I buy 50 pound bags of sugar. About three days ago this bag was solid as a rock. Things had dried out and you can see now it's very very loose and ready to use. And the way I did that was to simply put a piece of bread into the bag. This piece of bread in the bag provided the moisture needed to turn this block, solid block of sugar into nice loose sugar again. It takes about a day and a half, two days to go from a solid block to loose sugar again. So this is all ready. And the next thing I'll need is a bowl for mixing. And I use this bowl and I use it over and over again. So I actually have already recorded the uh, weight of this bowl. The next thing I'm gonna do is look at my IMO1. fine. The next thing I'm going to do is weigh the IMO1 and I'm going to do that by putting it in the bowl. And while I do this I'm going to be inspecting the IMO1. A little bit of red in there. A little bit of black. So this got a little bit wetter than I like, and that's because of the rain. But I'm going to take out what I want, and that's plenty good for making IMO2. That little bit of red, not desirable, but small amounts of uh, the red are not terrible and that's a, a small enough amount. So the next thing I'm going to do is weigh this. 4.9 and the bowl weighs 1.9 ish so that's three pounds. So I need three pounds of sugar there we go. Before I begin the mixing process I'm going to prepare the jars this usually takes about um, a half gallon and a quart jar for the three cups of brown rice that I start with. And it's easier to label these jars when they're clean and empty than when they're full. I am O number two. So I'm recording what it is, where I did it, and when I did it. And so I have an idea of what type of biology I'm actually capturing here. Now I'll do the mixing. Very simple, just mix it up. A little bit of red in there. Uh, there's just a small amount. That's looking pretty good, well mixed. Has a interesting texture. in the jar. And I want to 
of that jar, about two thirds, I want to leave some air on the top of this jar. And those are both about two thirds full. And uh, yeah, that's it. This will be stored on a shelf with the top open to the air with a cloth over it, out of the sunlight for about seven days. And it'll turn into a, a brown liquid that uh, actually smells rather pleasant. Um, and I'll have my IMO too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video. I look forward to sharing more information with you in the future. Until next time.